Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and it's time for the Gotcha Weekend Update. That's right, the thing I do every Sunday to kind of just play my gotchas and have a nice fun old time. It's the weekend, so today's first gotcha is going to be Dragalia. I'm going to go in here. Not much to do to Dragalia, as is expected. Um, this event's almost over, but I'm just going to get this treasury, and that's what it's going to be for Dragalia. Oh man, it's Sunday. I just got an email from work that told me that I don't have to work today. Well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. The dog is also going crazy. Drug dealers out in the back. They're still working out here at 2 a.m. Uh, they never stop. Uh, there's a good chance that someone will come to yell at the dogs. And if that happens, well, that would suck. <laughs> anyway, as a reminder, uh, you can leave a like, comment about how you're feeling this weekend. Have you started any new gotchas? I started playing some Puzzles and Dragons. It takes too long to do anything in Puzzles and Dragons for me to actually play it for this specific uh, video time thingy, but maybe someday when I actually can get my stuff leveled up and everything. I've also played some more Bloodstained, which I did a video of. I started playing it there and then I started playing it a little bit more because it seemed like a good... You know one of those games where you just kind of play and you don't really think? That's a blood stain for me. Uh, not to say that it's like, uh, I should really be thinking, actually, now that I think about it, because that game is not easy. Um, but I'm able to kind of just, like, grind through it and have a decent time. Uh, watch some other stuff in the background, which is, which is what I like to do with some of my games, for sure. Now I'd be angry. Out of respect for Barbie, I will not show her boobs. If you saw him right there before she fell down, you saw him. You did, Lily. Yes. You did a fantastic job. Alright, let's move on to the next gotcha now. There we go. And here is today's second gotcha. Uh, it's Fate Grand Order. Alright, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna uh, grind a little bit of Death Jail. Man, not much time left for this one. So I'm gonna go in here... This is, of course, a classic combo. You see it everywhere. Uh, yep. And then I'll use Calorie Meat, because that gives MP gain. My dog's still barking at the drug dealers. They just don't listen to reason, man. They gotta stop showing up here. It's really annoying for videos. Like, every every, every other video of mine is just a dog barking in the background, because I can't fucking stop them from doing anything. All because of some dumb fucking drug dealers. Why are you stealing drugs out at like 2 a.m.? You should be at home practicing social distancing. There should be some kind of like, I don't know, illegal drug thing. I'm sure there is. Um, you can just do that. I don't know. Anything that doesn't inconvenience me. People will get their cocaine eventually. You don't need to be uh, out in, at 2 a.m. getting corona for yourself. Because let me tell you, there is no drug that stops corona from fucking you up. It's very, very sad, but it's true. I'm just trying to look out for you drug dealers. Also, what you're doing is kind of illegal, so... Well, I don't know what kind of drugs they're selling, actually. They could be selling... I don't know what you'd be selling, actually. If you're a drug dealer out there, and you watch my videos, and you want to tell me what kind of product you sell, I would love to hear it, because the only thing I'm aware of as far as drug dealing goes is, like, weed. Because in high school... Actually, you know what? Here's a fun story. Not super fun now that I think about it, but I'm going to tell it anyway. In summer school, I knew a ecstasy dealer. Um, it was middle school... Not middle school. It was high school. I think I was 10th grade. I was in summer school for failing classes and stuff. Um... Yeah, he sold ecstasy, and it was really crazy. Um, what was the specific thing? The reason I knew he did ecstasy, because I remember seeing um, uh, <laughs> some of the, my classmates taking it. Yes. Literally the ones that I had. So I don't know if you've ever been to summer school, but this is what I do when I'm in summer school. Since you don't really have any of your friends there with you at summer school, you kind of have to make friends with the random kids that show up for summer school. So that's what I always did for every summer school. But that year I was friends with um, a skater dude uh, and two burnout dudes and drug dealer, man. And we had some good old fun times. I just got to see he dropped. 
Did I? Yeah, all right. Damn it. Now that kind of means I have to buy the rest of this. Dive to the blue. Hello. Hello there. Mash. This is a very good CE. Oh man, I never noticed that she had the shield. That's great. I never noticed there was a little shield thingy there for reasons. There's foe. Hello, foe. There's tiny crack. All right, I'll continue my drug story at the final gotcha. All right, moving on to the next gotcha. All right, and, and here's the final uh, gotcha. We've got, of course, Dokkan battle. I'll be fighting Metacooler because I need medals for him. So that's going to be the video. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll actually keep him up front. So anyway, back to my ecstasy story, uh, which I should also mention now that, now that I'm talking about it. I never have done ecstasy. I don't really, I've never really done a drug, to be fair to everything, just to have it all let you know. So if anything I say sounds wrong, it's because I really don't know much about drugs. Everything I learned is basically from that one time in summer school where I, one, watched other people do drugs, and two, a drug dealer told me about the negative effects of them. Um, like, I was never taught this in school, but I was taught by the drug dealer that if you do ecstasy, it's actually bad if you keep continuously doing it because it, when you do it once, it creates like a hole in your brain. So the more you do it, the worse you become. Um, which is honestly the the fact that he said it. And it's not like, oh, I was like, oh, he definitely offered to sell me some. I just never wanted to do it because, one, he did a real good-ass job of just never wanting me Never, like, making it seem like the effects of the drugs were worth it. Especially ecstasy. It seemed like, whoa. I feel like if I wasn't going to do anything, it would be, like, the really, like... Like, it'd be weed. Because, you know, weed, the worst you can get is probably cancer. Um, but... <laughs> but from, um... All the stuff you were describing to me with ecstasy, it's like, oh yeah, it creates like, a hole in your brain. I was like, What? And people still do it? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, that's stupid. Incredibly dumb. So stupid. So anyway, back to the story here. So yeah, I was friends with a bunch of them in summer school. They were actually really cool dudes. You know, just because they do drugs doesn't mean that they were bad people. Um, they were just, I don't know, skater burnouts. And sometimes people just want to do drugs for whatever reasons they want to do drugs. So anyway, so we were in class one day. And one of the dudes who was on ecstasy, him and his friend... Okay, so let, let me describe it again. There's drug dealer, there's me, skater dude, and then there's two other dudes who were friends previously. Um, they were the ones that knew each other going in. So anyway, ecstasy dealer gives... Um, and I have to do this, otherwise I die. Because these metal coolers are super annoying. Hold up. Uh, yeah, I have to pay attention to this real quick. And then for you, Aurelia, you go here. Okay. Back to the drug stuff. Anyway, I completely fucked up that there rotation really hard. I should have put Kid Gohan in front. Anyway. Um. So yeah, that, those are us I-5, all shared a desk right in the front. Uh... Two of them, the two friends who were there beforehand, took the ecstasy from the dealer and decided that it would be a good idea to just take it during class. Why they thought this, I don't know. It seemed like a real bad idea while they were doing it. Um, it's not like I tried to warn them, because what the hell were they going to listen to me for it? Um, and I was also kind of bored at class, because I was like, there's nothing exciting thing, and nothing exciting really ever happens in class. I'm going to use a item right here. Um, so they decide to take ecstasy during class, and this is where things get really weird. Because so they start taking it, and I'm like, "Are they feeling anything?" Because they're not really saying anything. He's like, "Oh yeah, watch this." And I should mention, Skaterman had also done ecstasy in the past, but he was kind of like, "Eh, just every once in a while," because I don't want to fuck up my brain. These two dudes who were in summer school had no issues with just like completely burning out their brain. So. Uh, he said, this is how we can tell. So they started going, like, he started making, like, raptor noises, like, from Jurassic Park. And the, one of the dude's, like, eyes, like, straight up lit up. He's like, oh, my God, there's a fucking dinosaur in class. And then that's how I was like, he can't really be thinking that, right? 
He's like, no, he probably really does think that there's a dinosaur in class. And I was like, holy shit. So then I'm like looking at him and I'm like, this is insane. Um, he's like, and I'm also laughing at this point because it is just really funny. At least to me, I thought it was pretty funny that these dudes, this dude was just like off his mind, off the, off the, off the ecstasy trying to like function as a person. It just was not working out for him very well. Um, and then what ended up happening was that as he was doing it, we were having fun, everyone was laughing. It got to the point where the substitute, not the substitute teacher, the summer school teacher was like, okay, you guys are being too, uh, specifically, you're causing a real ruckus, I need to talk to you after class. And he, was, he said this to one of the people who were on ecstasy. And this is the part where we went like, oh no. Because the only reason that he was able to function was that we were there and kind of guiding him to do his work and doing all this other stuff. Uh, she wanted to talk to him alone. So basically the door closed and we we're like, oh my god. And the worst thing about it is that what we learned while he was doing it is that he was like, oh no, this is a, this guy's a violent type type of person. It's like, what do you mean? So this is the kind of guy who will end up kind of like throwing hands. And we were like, I don't think that... I, but he doesn't seem like that kind of... And then good enough to know once he started freaking out he did actually start trying to do tiny swings we had to keep the fist down and stuff like that which is one of the reasons why he eventually like had to be like told like he was causing too much of a distraction um so we basically had to tell him like all right you need to be cool because if you figure if this teacher finds out that one you're on ecstasy we're gonna have a real problem because they're gonna have to figure out who has the ecstasy and at that point it turns into this whole investigation thing and we're all fucked um so we waited outside we waited outside one of the dudes left and he came back and it was the dude's girlfriend um and it ended up being that all of us were just waiting for like it was kind of like when you wait for the pope to have like the signal if everything's been going good or not uh we had to wait for some kind of signal it was like okay we need to know if like the teacher like first of all i was also kind of like uh scared for the teacher because i was like oh my god this guy might end up accidentally swinging at her um and that would suck, too, because she was actually a really cool lady. I really liked her. Uh, it was a shame that it was summer school, so no one really paid attention to anything she was trying to teach. But I thought she was a very cool teacher. Um, ended up being perfectly fine. He came out, and he's like, yeah, it's fine. I just kind of got yelled at. Uh, it, maybe the ecstasy had worn off. I don't know. But then I remember going, like, all right, this is where we go our separate ways because it's the end of class. I need to get going home now. Uh, thank you for the anti-drug PSA. And then I think the next day, the guy was like, I can't do that anymore. He's like, well, you learned your lesson? He's like, no, my girlfriend got angry at me that I took ecstasy in class. So she's like, oh, you can only do it now when you're not in there. I'm like, I don't understand how this was the lesson learned, but sure, whatever. Uh, and yeah, that was my that's my ecstasy story for you. It was kind of crazy. Summer school was crazy for a lot of reasons. Mainly because people don't care about summer school. I mean, I passed all my summer school classes, so it's cool. One time when I, I, I was taking summer school classes while I was starting up uh, the college I never talk about because I don't want to ever bring up its name ever. The only good thing that ever came out of it was the, the Mew Mew Force members. Um, but one time I was... So while I started college, I was also in still in summer school because I had technically not passed high school and I needed to at least pass high school. So I had to kind of pretend like, oh yeah, I totally passed high school until I finished summer school, got that final grade, and then I was considered to be a high school graduate and then I could attend college. But I basically had to fake it until I made it, um, which was an entire process. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Anyway, don't do drugs, everyone. I think that's the lesson. <laughs> if you're going to do them, then I suggest doing the mild stuff and not ecstasy. Because ecstasy seems like a fucking way to ruin your life, man. So yeah, that's the end of the Gotcha Weekend Update, everyone. I hope you had a fun time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, leave a like if you liked it and stuff, and I'll goodbye. Have a good day.